Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 and today we're going to be talking about the offense on my team, in Man Ultimate Team. And I'm going to explain to you guys some of the goals and some of the players that I really need to, for my team to improve on the offense side. And for the defense side, guys, I'll be making a different video. So if you guys want to see the defense side, just wait a few minutes and it should be able to come out like in 30 minutes. So, so. anyways, let's move over to my offense. Now, if you guys remember the last game that I played on my playoff game, um, you guys should, rem should remember how my offense went. And um, yes, you know, the O-line did a block pretty much well. I did end up running like a bunch of yards in the, in the third quarter. You know, Chris Ivory running for 30 yards and then Doug Martin running for 30 yards. It was going back to back. It was going pretty good. It's just that um, I believe that season two will be more difficult than what it was in season one because a lot of players, you know, I, I've seen lately have been carrying legends and uh, I'm like, you know, I need to improve my old line. I want it to be solid and, and no longer, you know, on my mind on season two for the rest of the season. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm going to recruit every single 85 and overall or higher lineman for all five of them. Now, if you guys have followed me on Twitter at JoeKingGiant74, I did mention that I will be trying to get to 50,000 coins by in three days. And um, there are certain ways you can pull it off. Actually, there's you can actually make twenty thousand coins in eight hours. It's a way, guys. I'll probably explain in a different video so you guys can also do it. And um, it's workable. You can you can all do it. It's just that you gotta have uh, the smartness and you know and what to actually buy because it involves several things to do. It's not one time. You gotta do it several times in order for you guys to get twenty thousand coins in eight hours. So um, I'll be making a different video about that. But anyways. Yeah, I'll be picking up some O-line along the way, you know, 85 overall, all of them, I don't care who it is, whoever's 85 overall and higher, I'm going to get them. I want these guys to actually pancake the D-line as fast as I snap the ball. Like, right away, I better see a pancake. Because this O-line, you know, they did pretty good, it's just that I feel like maybe we need more. Doug Martin is faster, and this O-line is set to uh, Chris Ivory. If you guys saw a few runs from Chris Ivory from the from my last game in the playoffs, Chris Ivory did a hell of a job. Doug Martin was kind of struggling a little bit because he was just too fast and faster than my fullback, so might also replace the fullback. I just feel like this year on Season 2, I need more blocking. I need more um, you know, strength on the O-line. I want to be better on the trenches, better on the goal line. I want to be better on 3rd and 3, 3rd and 2, you know. I just need better O-line. I believe this year I just need better O-line. And also the tight end. I have mentioned that I need a faster tight end. And I might sign in um, whoever's eight, over 85 overall also. Because uh, I believe that uh, you know Dwayne Allen is doing a hell of a job at, at, at run blocking. It's just that uh, you know sometimes well, every time I throw him into, into a streak, I feel like I need more, spit, more, more speed. Sorry. Um, I do have... Brent Selleck, who's a little bit faster, it's just that uh, he's still not fast enough, though. I need someone who's like 83 speed, 82 speed. I do have somebody like that, which is Tony Scheffler, but he ain't no good with 74 overall, guys. So I might pick up uh, the guy from Miami Dolphins, too. So, anyways, um, I'll be showing you guys who I'm going to pick up for the O line, though. So let me head over to the auctions and tell you guys who I'm going to pick up, you know, right away after I get like 50,000 coins. So let's go to the auction house, and the easiest way to search for these people will be by putting uh, 85 through 89. Uh, the type, uh, not the name, the type. Type, goddammit. Left tackle. I'm gonna start from left tackle to to all the way to the right tackle. So style, ground and pound, because that's what I want, guys. I want to like go up a straight up against uh, my teams. I mean, against the other teams and just pancake their ass. So. Anyways, uh, Dwayne Brown is going to be one of them, one of the pickups. A left guard, it's going to be quite impossible to get since these guys pretty much monopolize the left guard position on the auction. It's just bullshit that he costs way too much like that. 29000 come on bro, nobody's going to buy that shit. Um, Nick, that, so that's why I'm only going to get like four that are actually 85 over up because my left guard position is just too overpriced in the auctions. There's no way you can get a cheap guy. Whoever has tried to get a left guard on uh, Madden Ultimate Team, you're never gonna get anyone under 2,000 coins. Everybody's freaking expensive. I don't know why the left guard position is too expensive. And here's the center that I'm gonna pick up, Nick Mangle for the New York Jets. It's gonna be a hell of a blocker for sure. I mean, look at his stats. Uh, we can see some, um, you know, some kind of a average blocking though. I thought he had, I thought he had more though. Pretty much, I saw 
more than that, but he's gonna be all right. I, I believe he's gonna be all right. He has the awareness, so I believe in him. At right guard position, we're gonna be picking up Brandon Fusco, and that's the only guy that's here that's higher than 85 overall. A lot of room blocking, so we're gonna be able to see a bunch of pancakes from this guy. I can't wait to run to the right side. At right tackle, we're gonna pick up Sex Streif for 8,000 coins. This is the cheapest guy you can get at the right tackle position. That's over 85 overall, so it's quite like what the fuck? Why is this guy costing 8,000 coins if he's 86 overall? So for those of you guys watching this video right now, if you're on the PS4 side playing Madden, head over to the right tackle position and pick up this guy right away. There's nobody else who's over 85 overall and costing that much. So head over there right now. So those are the five linemen that I will be picking up. And you know, the left guard is kind of like uh, maybe a not because he costs way too much. He's way overpriced. Uh, but yeah, those are the five linemen that I'll be picking up, and uh, that's pretty much my plan of you know before the season one, the season two begins. Um, that's it. You know, the old line needs to be replaced. I know a bunch of people are gonna have like a bunch of legends on the D line or something, and it's just gonna be quite embarrassing to see Doug Martin being tackled like on the negative yard side. So I need better linemen. That's all it is, guys. My goal is to get a better offensive lineman in order for my running backs to get out there, and also for my quarterback to have more time to pass the ball. And, like, if you guys remember my last game, my playoff game, uh, the other guy had William Perry, which is the fridge from the Chicago Bears. Um, he was going through Warmack and a good one a bunch of times. And, you know, I just felt like, God damn it, I should have signed an 85, 85 overall or higher uh, offensive lineman. So, so that's where it came from, guys. So that's it. If you guys like my goals in my offense, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me who to pick up if you guys see someone better than who I showed you right now. And also on the receivers, I'm looking forward to replacing Victor Cruz also because he's kind of kind of weird. Like he's not kind of reacting how I want him to. So I might replace Victor Cruz, might replace him. So anyways, I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Madden Ultimate Team.